This is Brian DeLuca, Aquanetta CEO. I just want to repeat myself. We had the best of intentions. The town of Marietta, Ohio needed our help, and we were there for them. The town's antiquated water lines had become so rusted and stacked with so much lead in it, it was not fit for human consumption. The elected officials were blamed for not switching out the older pipes and refusing to allocate money for infrastructure reforms. The response was apt. Hundreds of protesters screaming at politicians outside of City Hall, demanding it to do something and fix the pipes. The news went national thanks to the internet, and the pressure was overwhelming to find a proper solution. That's where we came in. My company, Aquanetica, was working on a water purification technology for third world countries. So imagine our surprise when we received a government contract for a small Midwestern town. Sad, but we came to help. We developed a game-changing chemical agent to purify the water. For legal reasons, as you can understand why I can't go into the details. But it was handled across multiple teams to keep the formula a secret. And you know, this is standard trademark procedure. But the solution was a simple one. The chemical cleans the water and the pipes, removing any traces of lead or any other harmful elements. Completely safe for human use. We introduced it into the water supply by adding it into the central waterworks and let the solution go into effect immediately. And it worked! And the town was alive again. Kids were safe and people didn't have to stock up on bottled water. The people of Marietta were so gracious. They could swim in the public pools again. They could bathe and shower. They could even drink straight out of the fountain or taps. The humanitarian crisis had been solved at the fraction of the cost by renovating the infrastructure of the town. Paradise was within our reach. Until... <laughs> there, there was this homicide. You know, it's an extremely small town. Marietta is, you know, things like this don't happen here. It was big news, even with the event of a water crisis being solved. A man went berserk and butchered his wife and kids at a dinner table, and then he rushed police until he shot dead. It, it, it's a coincidence. Nothing more. But the media labeled it a trend. They said it was a pandemic because there was a stabbing and a shooting and a woman ran over a fireman with her car. The sheer horror of it was all too much. I get it. But look, they drowned out what should have been a landmark event in the course of human history. They accused us, their saviors, of being the cause. It was madness. Absurd to suggest such a thing. But they wouldn't listen to reason. Though our purification chemical succeeded in eradicating taints and lead poison, and a small percentage of the population created a similar effect, not unlike lead poisoning on the brain. You know, that phrase, mad as a hatter, it came from hat makers in Victoria times, going insane from the mercury fumes and making their hats. It's a side effect of progress. A quarter of the population, probably less, that's it. Small unforeseen losses when you look at the big picture, they still complimented me, you know. The politicians, the money men, how much we saved was such a smart solution. Even if I had found out about these side effects, I guarantee you they would have said yes. Now here I am, locked away in this room. I can't escape. The army's quarantined the whole town. We're all as good as dead. The sick and the clean, the sane and the insane, the innocent and the guilty. To be crystal clear, this was an accident. Tragic, yes, but think what could have been done from there what I could have done. Yet nobody in office will face punishment. No, just me, the scapegoat. The man who tried to save these people, and I'm damned for it. You can hear them outside, can't you? Those hateful spawn. Infected or not, they're going to kill me. If anyone finds us in the rubble, I just want my side heard. Tell them... Tell them I didn't deserve this. 